What is your favorite breakfast food? My favorite breakfast food all the time, hands down. French toast, fruity pebble French toast. Your mama made it French toast. Your granny made it French toast. You made it French toast. Just French toast. Me. What's up? This is Kamaya, and I'm doing my social distancing, quarantining thing, chilling with BET. I'm about to answer a couple questions for y'all and get real ratchet with it. What song name or song lyrics best describes your 2020 so far? I'm locked up, they won't let me out. 2020. How old were you when you wrote your first song and what was it about? My first song I ever wrote was when I was 11 years old. I had a song called Shine. The whole topic was just about pretty much what I'm living right now. Talking about how I wanted to flourish in life and shine, etc. It was like, I had a week and a half just to write this song. It wasn't easy because I had to learn. Yeah, I got skills, but I don't think I'm grown. I'm not Patty LaBille. I can't make it on my own. Just, just crazy. 11. But yeah, that's what it was. Sean. My dream collaborators, dead or alive, or Erica Badu. Absolutely. I think we can make some groovy shit. Like some incense, so snap, hello. Missy Elliott, of course. Visual is gonna be crazy. Gonna be fly. Y'all know what time it is if we get together. Shutting down the world. And Tupac. Oh, and I wanted to do something with Left Eye too. I just feel like the vibes with that would be crazy. I feel like her and Tupac together do some woke shit. Put me in a whole different mindset that I, I learn something. And I like to be around people I learn something. Would you rather go back in time or see into the future? Sometimes I feel like it's imperative that we should go back into the time so people can experience things and understand and be a little bit more grateful for what, the type of life we live in today. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people my age take it Take it for granted, the type of opportunities that are presented to us because it was granted to us from birth. Like, they don't understand that it's people who fought, literally fought for us to be living the way we live in today. To just wake up freely and get on Instagram and talk shit in somebody's comments. Think about that. That's somebody's job right now. What is your favorite breakfast food? My favorite breakfast food all the time, hands down. French toast, fruity pebble French toast. Your mama made it French toast. Your granny made it French toast. You made it French toast. Just French toast me. What was it like putting together your album, Got It Made? Putting together my album, Got It Made, was a very liberating experience for me because it was my first project after I um, left my label and it just felt like I can have the freedom and liberty to do whatever I wanted to do. So I just, you know, didn't put a lot of pressure on myself. Creatively, I just f had fun and went in. Who was your childhood celebrity crush and who is it now? Let me crush. Tupac. Tupac. You see? Tupac. <laughs> Tupac. Um, Bow Wow, of course. The Every Girl Loves Bow Wow. We all have word of posters and all that. Right now, I don't really have... Yes, I do, but I'm not going to tell you. It's a phenomenal guy. He's black. He's strong. He's an actor. He's just everything. He's streamy. If you weren't a rapper, what other career would you choose? If I wasn't a rapper, I'd be a psychologist. I always wanted to be a psychologist because I talk to people about their problems all day. Any ways, why not get paid for it? Period. What's a phrase only people from Oakland would recognize? Oh, my mama. Basically, one of the most overused phrases of all times. And bruh, as simple as it sounds, you just don't know. It's just the way you say it. Bruh can be like, bruh, like, what's up? Be like, bruh, like, you got me up. And it can be like, bruh. Like, what's happening? Like, it's just, it's just different things. And if you had 48 hours on Earth left, what would you do? If I had 48 hours left on Earth, what I would do? I mean, it depends on the circumstances. If I can do whatever the I wanted to do. I really want to be like on like a secluded island or some shit with my family, just vibing out and just die in peace on some player shit, bro. Bring me champagne, the coldest freak, freak me out, live it up, and just go gracefully after I jet ski, and then throw my ashes in the ocean and put me with my ancestors. This has been BT 106 and Park, Mike Check. I'm checking out. It's your girl, Il Yaya. Follow me on all socials to get that. Hello, Westside. You know how we ride.